Hello, it's that time again for crafts and coffee with Sarah. My hair looks a little grayer there today, you know, happens every time I take a shower. All right, so we are going to make little wreaths. It's just simple little wreaths. Karagami style, which means folding and cutting. So I'm going to take me green copy piece of paper and I'm going to fold it. What I'm wanting is I'm wanting a square. Oops, forget that. I'm just wanting to fold this in half. Long way. Hot dog style. Alright, so here's hot dog style. Now, as I cut this, I want to leave an edge about the width of my finger there. Oh, Annie, I did repolish my fingernails. So I'm just going to cut uh, close to the edge there. You know, when I taught art, we just called this fringing. I'm just going to go ahead and cro uh, cross here. Uh, you can measure it if you want, if you, you know, if you like measuring. I, however, am not too much on measuring if I can do it without. So I'm just going across. All right. So I had it folded and then I did a fringing kind of process. Now I'm going to lay this down. Just trying to make sure I stay within the screen. And I'm going to put glue across. I'm going to put glue, I want a, a little bit. I want to kind of smooth it out because I want it to stick fairly quickly. I don't want to have to hold it in place a while. So the glue's on this side. Now I'm going to take the other side and I'm going to roll this paper on top of that. So this is going to take a little bit of finagling because the paper doesn't necessarily like what you're doing to it. I know I'm giving the the paper a person out there just you know just kind of my ways those people who've been around me um, they kind of understand my ways and if I don't say it right the first time I'll just turn around and say it a different way so I went across here I'm gonna kind of mash these down try to get them a little straighter and I'm gonna try to loosen this like right here want to kind of get this one done before lunch today just to fix lunch for my dad today and so um, trying to get this so I want to get it back out later okay there we go this is what it looks like now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these two together and I want to stick one inside the other a little bit. I'm going to see if maybe I folded one of them a little bit smaller or somehow I could just even reach in there and hold it. And I always tell the kids about 60 seconds works. And sometimes I'll even rub my fingers like back and forth like this. It causes friction. Friction causes heat. Heat causes glue to dry. And then I'm going to just kind of fluff this up at each one of those cuts. I'm going to bend the paper. I want it to be more in a circular arrangement. We think of a wreath being in a circular arrangement. Not that they have to be perfect, but just, you know, just close there. Okay. Now, there it is. And then what you can do is you can just simply take... Um, a few other pieces of construction paper, of copy paper, and decorate it up. Or maybe you have some fancier decorations at your house. All right, this is uh, Sarah Poff, the multimedia storyteller with Coffees and Crafts. You have a great day now.